Alright YouTubers, today we're going to be working on maths.4.08.1a and 0.1b. These are the little substandards. Um, so we're combining them for one lesson. This is lesson four. Again, you're in How to Pass the Math FSA 4th grade edition. And today we'll be working on true and false equations and unknown numbers in equations. And we're going to be thinking about it a little bit differently today. So, let me teach ya! An equation is shown. It's an equation because it has an equal sign. 4 times 12 equals n times 24. Um, okay. What is the value of my unknown number? N. N is my unknown number, so I need to figure out what does that N equal. Okay, so if I know that this side must be equal to this side, I need to figure out what the left side equals to help me figure out the value of that unknown number. So 4 times 12 is 48. Good job. If you didn't say 48, you need to study. Equals, I'm just going to bring this down, n times 24. So we need to plug something in for n, that when we plug this number in and we multiply that number by 24, we get the same value as 48 because our equation needs to be equal. So let's plug in numbers. Well, 1 times 24 would just be 24. So let's try 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 48. Ooh, that works. So if we plugged in 2 for n, 2 times 24 equals 48. And 48 equals 48. So that is true. So what is the value of the unknown number? 2. Did I put all this work in the box? Nope. Example dos. Determine whether each equation is true or false by dragging it to the correct place. Now this is intended for a computer type response to in order to drag the answers over. Um, but what we're going to do is just draw arrows and record our answers in the box. All right. Determine, we already read it, so I'm determining whether each one is true or false, hitting that true or false equations. So, 75 plus 76 is 81. 71 plus 10 is 81. Are my values equal? Yes, they sure are. That's why I'm going to put this one right here. Okay, 362 minus 10 would be 352 equals, and maybe you have to write this out. Maybe you have to, while you're solving it, you have to think about it and write it down. That's totally fine. Um, for me, though, I can do it in my head, so I'm going to do it in my head. 372 minus 20 would be 352, so both sides are correct. So that goes into our true column. True that. Zoop, doop, 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 doop. Okay. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 equals 6. Man, am I putting all these in the true? We'll find out with the last one. Zoop, doop, 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 doop. And 5 times 12 is 60. 10 times 5 is 50. That's false. And that's how you saw that one. Okay, multiple choice. An equation is shown. 153 minus 23 equals 157 minus n which is our unknown. What is the value of n? So this is a multiple choice question. Um, again, for my, in order for this to be an equation, the two sides need to be equal. 
So let me figure out what I know. I know I can solve this and figure out the value of the left side, which will help me figure out the value of the right side, which will help me figure out the value of n. Let's do this. 153 minus 23. That click clacking is my, my pup. Everybody say, hey, Bella. Um, <laughs> so 130 is on the left side. So if the left side is 130, the right side needs to be 132. So 157 minus n will give me 130. So if I subtract 130 from 157, that will tell me what n is. 7, 5 minus 3 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0, I don't need to put that there. So the value of the this side is not 27, but the value of the n is 27 because 157 minus 27 will give me 130. So, boom. Example four, select all the equations that are true. Multi-select, so I need to go through each and every one and see if they are true. 84 plus 84. I'm gonna do my work to the side over here. I can, I can do my work over here, it's cool. 84 plus 84 is 88. 85 plus three is 88. That equation is true. 84 plus eight plus three is 87. 85 plus four is 89. Is that equation true? Everybody say, nope. Don't mark it. 84 plus seven is 91. 85 plus 8 is 93. I almost had to write that one out. Is that equation true? Nope, that's false. Eliminate that one. 84 plus 12 would be 96. And could you be writing this out? Sure you could. Sure. Oh, there's my tummy. I think I need to eat something. My tummy just made a noise. And then... 85 plus 10 is 95. Is 96 equal to 95? Close, but nope. 84 plus 13 would equal 97. 85 plus 12 would equal 97. Ah, it is true. All right. An equation is shown. 47 plus 20 equals 37 plus 40. So far, so good, it seems pretty easy. Determine if the equation is true or false without adding. Explain your reasoning. Okay, so they want you to explain how you would solve this one. Sorry, I disappeared for a second. Oh. They want you to explain how to solve this one without adding. We've been adding the whole time. But now you need to think outside the box a little bit. Okay, so we have 47 plus 20 equals 37 plus 40. I think I might need to break out some different colors for this one. All right. <clears throat> I see 47 and I see 37. And I know that the difference between 47 and 37 is 10. Okay, so because of that, the difference between these must also be 10. But it's not because the difference between 40 and 20 is 20. So they don't match. And because of that, we're not going to get a balanced equation. Okay? Let me, I know it says to do it without adding, but let me also show you without, with adding, how this works. So 47 plus 20 would be 67. 37 plus 40 would be 77. Do you see 
how this side is 10 more. So in order for this to work, this 40 should be a 30 because then we would have a difference of 10. Okay, so if you are totally lost, go back and watch that again and watch it again until you see what I'm doing here. 47 is 10 away from 37, so the 20 needs to be 10 away from the 30, okay? Check it with your regular adding. You can still add it, you just can't include your reasoning why you add it here, okay? So determine if the equation is true or false without adding. Explain it your reasoning. This is an open response question, so I need to explain my answer. Okay, here I go. I need to write kind of small because my whole answer has to fit inside the box. If it's not inside the box, it's not going to work. All right, so I'm going to write kind of tiny, but you just copy with me as I'm going. The equation is false. Explain your reasoning. Because, got to write in complete sentences here, the difference between 47 and 37 is 10. So, the difference between 20 and 40 should, oh my tummy, is 10. You guys hear that? Like, sidetrack, sorry. Um, so the difference between 20 and 40 should be 10, but it is not. It is 20. Motivational time. I thought this quote was um, fitting, suitable, because we've been working with unknowns, and the author of this quote is unknown. So, but I love it. Strive for progress, not perfection. Strive for progress, not perfection. This was a lesson that I had to learn when I was a kid. I always tried to be perfect. If I didn't get 100%, I was like, wah, 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 wah. But inside, I didn't really communicate that outside, but um, I wanted that top score. And I kept working hard. So what you need to be doing is Let's say you work really, really hard for a test. You've been, let's say you've been getting C's and D's on your test, and now you're like, all right, Ms. McCarthy told me to make a decision to try. I'm gonna start trying. I'm gonna start studying. So you're striving. You know, you're trying to get that 100%. So you take that math test, and you get an 80%, which is a B. Is that progress? Yes, you're moving in the right direction, so don't knock yourself. It doesn't mean to stop there, though. Don't be like, all right, I got a B. I can quit studying now. No, you keep going, you strive for that progress. You strive for progress, not perfection. Don't get trapped into thinking that you're terrible because you didn't get a perfect score. You just keep trying, that's all you do. That just means you have room for improvement. We all have room for improvement. So keep trying, strive for progress, and I'll see you next time.